Dr. Oz, I'm Jesus Christ, and you're fired. Remember, don't push dirty drugs. Dirty drugs kill people, and you are killing people. And check out my new liquid death, death toll corduroy hat. I'm giving it to Lauren Daigle. I fired the Pope in it. And you know what? Count the dead. These drugs are not good. Liquid death is good. God is good. Donald Trump is good. I'm good. Peace be with you. To make America great again, not kill people. Have a great night. Dr. Hop. I've been to a lot of American Heart Association meetings and usually everyone's poker face and there's rarely a standing room crowd. But that happened in Philly this weekend when the results of a very high quality five-year study showed for the first time that the diabetes and weight loss drug Wagovi also reduced the chance of major heart problems by a whopping 20%. You know what that means? For every 1,000 patients taking the injection, 15 complications will be prevented. It's the first time I've seen a rigorous trial prove that weight management reduces heart problems. So what is it gonna change? I mean, in practice, so more doctors are gonna use these drugs in overweight patients with heart issues. And it's not just for morbidly obese patients anymore. They showed that even overweight patients benefited. And the trial puts pressure on insurers to pay for the expensive drug, which many have seen as a cosmetic, not a life-saving intervention. It's a big battle happening now, and I think Medicare is gonna be the, the, the real finish line. Are they gonna cover weight loss drugs? They're not allowed to by law, but what Govi appears to do more. I've been to a lot of them. Hey, just a reminder, and yes, I'm Jesus Christ, as I always tell you. You see these things on Instagram, these drug ads, the colorful, bright, got all these lines and patterns and stuff. You're looking at rattlesnakes. Pharmaceutical rattlesnakes. Devil's rattlesnakes. These drug companies are not good.